Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to manage your names and addresses and other autofill information in Microsoft Edge. And then we're also going to show you how to clear it out as well. All right, so let's say you're at a form here, you're going to buy something, and you click in the box there, and you have these various addresses. And this one here I made manually, and these two here were made by Edge based on some other information I had entered into a different form. So now we have some choices here of what we're going to do. Do we want to keep these? Do we want to remove these? Do we want to edit these? So let's see how we do that. All right, so first let's go to the Edge settings here. Let's open another tab. Click on the three dots, go to settings. All right, so if you go to privacy search and services, and you go to clear browsing data, and you click on choose what to clear, you'll have an option here to clear your auto form data, but you might not want to do this because it might clear stuff that you want to keep, but that's just an option there if you want to clear out everything. And then another section here, let's open a new tab, go to the settings again. It's under your profiles. If you scroll down to Microsoft Wallet and then open Wallet, then go to Personal Info, you can see the address that you've added manually. So here's one that I made manually here. And I could click on it, edit it, duplicate it, delete it. So if I click on edit, you can see the information I have here. So this will be stored. And then you could use this information for various forms. So if we go back to the form here. So if I start typing in J for Joe, then it brings up that one. I also have a John Smith there. And if I click on it, then it fills in my information. And if I go to the phone number, same thing here. If I start typing in the area code, I have my options as well. And then I could just pick the one I want. Okay, so let's clear this out here. So let's say you want to delete just a specific entry here without you know, going to the other settings and clearing out everything. If you click in the box there, start typing, for example, or if you want to clear out one of these, let's say I want this one here, but not this one. If I just highlight it, not click on it, just hover my mouse over it, then hold down shift, and then press delete on the keyboard. You'll see now it's gone. Now if I press three again, it just brings up that one. Let's do another example up here. Let's clear the form. Let's say we don't want Cindy. Hold down shift, hover over it, press delete. Now Cindy's gone, so we click on it again, it's gone. Even if we type a C, it's gone there as well. Okay, so let's kind of summarize here real quick. Let's go back to the main settings again. Okay, so if you want to clear out everything, you go to Privacy Search and Services. Go to the Clear Browsing Data, and you can choose what to clear. And then you can clear your autofill stuff here. But this will probably clear out entries you don't want to have deleted, so you probably don't want to do that. Then you could also go to the Wallet. So let's go back home here. So back under Profiles, Microsoft Wallet, Open Wallet. You also have Save Payment and Password information you can edit from here as well. Personal Info. So that's another way to get to it. So clicking on Personal Info here is the same as going to Open Wallet and then going to Personal Info. And then you could add another address here. So let's do that real quick just to show you how that works. And you'll notice some of these fields need to be filled out completely. And if you can't see save, then you'll know you're missing something here. So we need the address. Okay, so we'll save that. All right, so now we have Tom Smith. So if we go back to here, now you can see we have the Tom Smith. And if we were to just start typing Tom here, it'll kind of narrow it down. And you can see 
We have Todd there until we press the M. Then we just have Tom only. We can click on it, and it fills it in for us. Okay, let's go back to the wallet. And then, of course, you, like I said, you could edit them here. So the wallet is one place you could have your addresses. So you might want to just put them in manually and keep the ones you want to use. And then, like I said, if you want to go to the history and just clear out all your autofill, you could do that. But you probably just want to manage it from here. And then also, like I said, if you want to delete an individual one, with Tim Davis, hold down shift, press delete, and now it's gone. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. But like I said, you could clear out everything from the history and just manage it from the wallet. And then if you want to delete individual ones, I would just go ahead and delete them as needed by doing the hover over shift delete method, and then eventually get everything cleared out. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.